Say, what's an observer pattern? It's one of the design patterns of the Gang of Four. It allows an object to react to events as the events occur. What kind of objects are involved? There are two roles, subject and observer. The subject notifies the attached observers of significant events. An observer can attach or detach itself from a subject and implements an update method or callback, which the subject will call when the event occurs. Can you give me a real life example? Sure. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. You know your cell phone registers itself to a network when you turn it on? Yes, of course. Well, your cell phone is an observer, the network is the subject. When the cell phone registers itself on the network, it, as an observer, attaches itself to the subject. Okay. Now, when you get a call, the network notifies your cell phone of an incoming connection. Okay, what about encode? In C++ code, the subject is usually a class that generates the events. It might be a class that encapsulates a TCP IP server, for example. Okay, and what about the observer? Well, the observer is usually an interface, or abstract class, of which the methods are implemented by another class, the class that implements the interface. The interface will have one method per type of event that the subject can generate. The observer would normally only overload the methods that correspond to the events it needs to handle. In such a case, the observer could decide what to do with new connections, with incoming data, and when the connection is ready to receive more data. Such an observer could be used to write an efficient file server, or a proxy server, for example. What is the advantage of using the observer pattern in such a case? Using design patterns helps structure the architecture of your software solution. In this particular case, it would help encapsulate the details of network programming inside the subject class, while the observer class remains in control over how the application behaves when there are new connections, when there's data to be read, etc. The subject could remain agnostic of the application level protocols being implemented, but could still take care of all of the TCP IP details. So the observer pattern decouples the subject from the observer? Exactly. The only thing the subject has to know about the observer is its interface, which is implemented as an abstract class, and the only thing the observer needs to know about the subject is its interface, which can hide all of the details of network programming from the observer. Okay, thanks.